Right, here's an outline of the idea. Basically what I wanted to do was to try FPV, first person view, with the quadcopter. It's all the rage and all that, and I thought, right, how can I do it then? Um, most systems appear to be well out of my price range or anything, so I decided to get a couple of IP cameras, and I did do a couple of videos of taking them apart, making them in, into nice enough setups for FPV, they just didn't work, they didn't connect, or they dropped while they were recording, even on the internal SD cards, and rubbish like that. So, I ended up getting one of these, which is a Z201YS, and they have FPV on them. The big problem with this is it wanders, it kind of goes like this, in flight anyway, and it has its stick, its controller stick, is for altitude hold. It's sprung, and isn't a throttle control, it just changes the height making it useless for indoors. So if you can imagine it going like this and you can't change the height to go over and under things or whatever, yeah, it all became very difficult. Um, so I took out <laughs> its Wi-Fi and camera, which only weigh a gram. And I thought, wow, this could be interesting. I could try that. So I put a 3.3 volt regulator on it, put a battery on, and of course there's no SSID being broadcast because that information comes from the quadcopter. So my next plan, is I'm going to take the board out of the quadcopter, put it back with its uh, camera and its Wi-Fi, and put the whole assembly onto this hub stand. Because the other problem with this one is that it turns at about, well, I don't know, it takes four seconds to turn around 360 degrees and it's incredibly slow. So here we are with the bottom of the quadcopter removed, and the next thing to do is remove the lipo and remove the motors. So that's the motors desoldered and the board removed. Next part is to reattach the main board to the camera and uh, transmitter side. Right, so I've now attached the board to the other board. I've taken the antenna off that was for the quadcopter side and uh, put a battery on and if I switch on, <laughs> all this being unrehearsed, Oh, there we go. And hopefully now, if I hit Wi-Fi, it'll find it. Oh, there we go. Now, connected. Uh, start the app. Play. And there we go. We're up and running. Wow. So, next thing to tidy it all up and put it on the quadcopter. I may actually take these LEDs off. I'm not sure yet. But at least it's working. Alright, so there's the finished module. I've uh, glued it to the top now and it's all quite nice and neat. So the next thing, well it's a bit too wide to go in the bottom part, which is where the camera's supposed to go on these. So I will just put it on the top to try it out. And I'll also connect negative and positive inside to the main board so we can get some power. There we go, finished up, and uh, it looks quite similar to the other two conversions, which I guess has been some help along this little route here, um, about changing them over to uh, hopefully an FPV setup. So that now, well, I'll finish charging the battery. We'll give it a fly, see how it does. I'm also going to put a piece of um, Velcro on the phone on the back, and then I can put that onto the Hubsan transmitter. Alright, here's a quick system test connected to the JUFO app on the phone, and there we go. So, I'm going to give this a try outside. Alright, I've got no sound on both of these cameras I'm using the hat cam and the uh, one on the quadcopter, but there we go. Uh, hopefully, you can see it works pretty well indeed. As I say, the images. In the top left there, they're coming into the cell phone, so it's not recording on the SD card inside the quadcopter or anything. Uh, this is to the cell phone, so it's really, really good at not dropping frames and not tearing and such. And there we are, that's a quick demo of me flying badly on the first time using the FPV. really is a decent little system and I'm looking forward to flying it properly <laughs> and getting more used to it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully it's been of some help.